it's amazing how fast the week goes. So it just seems like we were here last, you know, like it was we yesterday. I understand it. <laughs> but it seems like it was yesterday that we were here. All of you that were game on Saturday, thank you for coming to the game. And I know that when it rained, how many of you, when it rained, left? Raise your hand. Be honest. Not me. Not me. Not me. I had to leave. Uh, I had something to do. All right. Besides having something to have to do, did anybody leave when it rained? Because of the rain. So, yeah, so I'll give you guys a hand. Thank you. Say, what do you do? I said, well, I coach football at Shippensburg University. And they said, well, what else do you do? <laughs> I said, well, I coach football. Do you teach? Every day I teach. I coach football. Okay, so I wanted to go through this a little bit, and I want you guys to see the other duties assigned that each of our coaches have on our staff, okay? Uh, they just don't coach the running backs or coach the wide receivers. They do a lot of other things, and I think it's, it's kind of neat that you guys can see the inner workings of what they get done what they have to do throughout the whole year. This is not just the season, this is throughout the year. Hey, Coach Morgan, raise your hand. <laughs> you know, academics is taken care of by the head coach and also with JC doing it, uh, where he's more of the on hands with the kids on a daily basis. Talk about Saturday, we had 25, 30 recruits there on Saturday. JC sets that whole recruiting deal up, uh, along with uh, Janine helping uh, set it up for us. But Coach Yersich, another big part of his job is strength and conditioning coach. All right, develop the strength program, develop the conditioning program during the season and off the season and during the summertime. Okay? He, big, he does all the equipment, orders the jerseys, takes care of the equipment staff, uh, anything that we need equipment-wise. He takes the inventory, he orders it. Uh, so he's in charge of that whole area down there in the, uh, in the equipment room down at the stadium. So he does a good job with that. This is back in 2001, 2002, and I was in charge of this. And we went to the hotel in, in Edinburgh. What was it called, Mike? Edinburgh Inn. Edinburgh Inn. <laughs> the food came out, and it was supposed to be, you know, chicken and whatever else, it, you know, pasta, things like that. Well, about half the team got served, and they ran out of food. <laughs> so I understand what Coach Burkett goes through with that, uh, with that travel stuff. Now, a lot of people want to know what I do. What do you do? I make sure everything listed on the previous is done. We beat the number 19 uh, team in the country, Shepard 38-28. Now listen, let me just say this real quick, okay? It's the first game, okay? It's the first game. We got a lot of things to get better at. We got a lot of room to grow. We take one game at a time. We're not crowning ourselves yet. We're not doing anything crazy. We're back to work. we got to worry about Slippery Rock now. Never stop believing. I can honestly say that. I looked at the kids' eyes, all right, and I could tell that they weren't, they weren't giving up, that they were believing they could win this game. They didn't have that blank look in there. They had this look of determination. So, And you can tell when kids have blank looks, believe me. I'll get to the point. Halftime. Listen, I didn't do any Newt Rockney stuff at halftime, right? I didn't do any of that stuff. All I told those guys, and a little bit of passion, I had a little passion with it, but I told them this. Just a little. I told them that you probably just played the worst half of football ever at Shippensburg, and we're only down by nine points. I did say that. I did say that. And I said, now you've got to dig down deep in your heart and decide what you want to do. you got a choice when you got in that field. you got a choice to play, or you got a choice not to play. All right? You got to show the pro, or you got to show the fans. You got to show people who support this program what we're really about. You know, kind of what I said. <laughs> <laughs> Opening play of the second half was a 45-yard pass by Shepard. We come out of the locker room and they hit that 45-yard pass on us. We could have went downhill right away, but I, I give our kids a lot of credit because the defense stood up in the red zone there. They tried for it on a fourth down and we stopped them on fourth down. We got the ball and went down and scored. That changed the game right there. Right. So it really helps on screens and stuff to have Jake Metz at the direction because he just bats him down. This is a freshman right here playing in his first college game. All right. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Somersault. Yeah. 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 Okay. Love that. And that's a, that's a good play. That's a, that's a super play at the right time. I put this play in here because I didn't know if all of you stayed during the rain. I wanted oh, yeah. to show you what it was like. <laughs> <laughs> 
I just wanted to make sure that you knew what it looked like in the ring, all right? But since everybody stayed, I should have thrown this play out. We scored, and we were able to put points on a really good defense by doing real plays, and that was big for us. We ran all our offense. Uh, our quarterback did a heck of a job. I think our old line settled in, and I think our kids played tough throughout. And uh, we were able to run the ball when we needed to run the ball at the end of the game uh, to, to eat the clock up. Obviously, we talk about the two most important statistics are points and turnovers. And we had points, okay, and we didn't have no turnovers. So those are all the things that we talk about as an offense. You know, our hands are going to be full. It's going gonna, it's gonna to come down to the same things it came down to this week for us offensively. You know, playing smart, playing fast, penalty free, no turnovers. That's our deal. I mean, it's every week now. And they're going to be physical, and uh, we're going to be physical. And it's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of competition. And, uh, you know, look, look for us to have success. That's why I tell our guys that a big thing is with us is to continue to improve. Why do, why do we practice this week, I asked them. Why are you out here to go through the motions and just get to the game Saturday? No, it's to improve every day. Talk about Slippery Rock real quick. They are a tough football team. Okay, they beat Seton Hill 52-6 to um, on last Thursday night. So they played a Thursday night game at third place. The game on Saturday for us is over. Okay, it's done. It's nice. It's good. It's all that kind of stuff. But if we don't follow it up with a good week of, of practice and a good week of mental preparation, we're going to be in trouble. So we've talked about that all week. Slippery Rock's a very tough football team. They're very tough. Coach Mahalik, uh, Dr. Uh, George Mahalik, who's the head coach up there, is a great guy. I respect him. When I was a player, uh, believe it or not, when I was a player, Coach Mahalik was one of my biggest fans. Uh, before the game, he would come and shake my hand before the game. Um, and it's a pretty good relationship that I have with him. Any questions? Anything else? Hey, thank you very much for coming.